Okay, so what you're going to need is you're going to need one of the photographs. Most of the sheets have two photographs on them. And they're both numbered. You are going to need a window, which is going to be used to choose the section of the composition you like. And then you're going to need a piece of tracing paper. Firstly, you are going to choose what you think is going to be a successful composition. So, for example, if you chose something like that, it's a little bit uninteresting, doesn't include much of the face. If you choose something like that, obviously, a bit like the slideshow where the, one of the uh, ladies' photograph showed the top of the head chopped off, looks a little bit odd. So you need to choose what you think is going to be a good composition. Once you've chosen what is going to be a good composition, you will note that this square is roughly 9 centimeters by 14. So what you then do is you take your piece of tracing paper and you draw a grid on it or you draw a box on it which is 9 centimeters by 14. So there's my grid, my box, which is 9 by 14. Well, I quite like a composition which has most of the head, a little bit of the glass, and a little bit of this wine glass in the background. That's what I'm going to choose. Quite simple, but I'm quite happy with that. I could move it up and include a little bit of this blind at the top. I think I will do that. So that's going to be my composition. So what I then need to do is put my tracing paper in the right position and trace it. Now, the more detail you get into your tracing, the better mark you're going to get. Because this is just going to be a demonstration, what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace it quite quickly. I don't think it's worth putting any of the fur in the tracing, but I'm going to trace it quite quickly just to give you an idea of what Going to look like. So, you can see it. I'm rushing a little bit, and if I was doing it in year seven, I'd probably want to spend a bit more time on it to ensure I got a higher mark, got more quality into the tracing, because the more quality you have in the original tracing, the better quality you were going to have in the final painting. Bit of a reflection there. And lastly, if I put in the blind. Now you might find that, for example, if I was going to trace this and spend more time in it, I could have done the edge of this with a ruler. But that's my final composition. That's what my final painting is going to look like. So the next stage is to put a grid on this and then when we enlarge the grid on this onto a grid on the paper the final picture is going to be or the final painting is going to be about four times the size so in terms of our grid and we're working on a portrait format and not a landscape format we are going to do 
three centimeter squares, one, three, six, nine, three centimeter squares along the edge, which is nine centimeters long. I'll press quite hard so you can see it. By four squares, which aren't three wide, but are three and a half wide. So each square So now I've got my grid. My grid has got three squares across, which are three centimeters wide, and four squares down, which are three and a half centimeters. 